Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see, I have a big project on my hands. I couldn't record tearing the floor out. Um, I may have gotten a little bit of footage, but my dad has this thing about cameras and YouTube. He just, he's 81. I'll just leave it there. What is going on? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the original part of the house. This is the original house. As you can see, it's the uh, brick wainscoting and the stucco, okay? They, this room is very small. It's only, I mean, this house is very small. It's only about 1,100 square feet. And my grandparents wanted an addition so what they did was is they just piecemealed things together. First they had, let me get over here. First they put this part in, and then later they put this part in. And you can tell because the joists are all different sizes, I mean widths. So because things are hodgepodged and there were no gutters on the house for three and a half years after a home repair on the soffits, water just sat and sat and sat and it never got away from the house and so over here i don't know i'll take you over there in a minute this joist broke i mean i'm sorry the sill broke and as the house as this addition started to settle in that direction the joist broke and i mean some of them snapped in half some of them were just cracked uh it's just a mess and it was a chore getting this plywood up. The nails were rusted, and I don't know what you call those nails. I can't remember the name of the nails that have the, the ridges in it. Gosh, what is that? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, those are hard to pull out. And then we had linoleum that was glued straight on to the uh, plywood or the subfloor and it was it was a tough job I wish I really could have filmed it but you know when you got free help and you know oh it's these nails that have ribs on it what do you call that Riveted or whatever. It's the rib nails. Yeah, that's the reason it's so hard to come out. I forgot what they're called, but. <sighs> I'll try to sneak some in tomorrow if I can. You know, filming. I gotta figure out where I can hide the camera so he can't see it. So, um, the joists have to be replaced. We're gonna just do one joist instead of, all this is just going. It's gonna be done properly, period. So, um, we got to jack up the house, replace the sill, let the house down, make sure it's level, and then, but we've got to cut the cement board. They covered the outside. Hang on, something's crawling on me. We, all on the exterior wall on the outside is cement board. So we've got to cut the cement board on the outside so we can see the sill from the outside. And um, I'm not sure why Dad wants to do it that way, but 
Um, I don't know. Because I figured you wouldn't have to do all that if you can see from the inside. But I'm the blonde here, right? Okay, so I've got to take all the drywall out. I have to insulate the walls. And then I'm going to insulate the floor and put a vapor, vapor barrier. And we've got to stop. This house, this area, part of the area, is it just, the ground stays wet. It's like it used to be a swamp or something. I don't know. It's very weird. But um, this addition right here, let me get back to this. This addition right here, they poured footers. And they put, uh, they put cement blocks on the footers. And they also put shingles on top of the cement blocks and then built everything. When they did this expansion right here, they didn't. So these piers sunk. And um, so that's how all this happened. So, and also I've got to insulate the ceiling and I have to put the ceiling back in. Um, what they did was is they extended the roof line so the, um, the ceilings are very, very low. And so we've got to do, I've got to do that because dad's not gonna be here to do that. And so I've been sweating all day. My hair looks terrible, but that's okay. Injuries, that comes with it. So forgive me for that. The shirts, I gotta finally retire my shirt. Uh, so while I'm down here, I'm going to vent the dryer properly. And there was all kind of mess under here. I mean, it's just like they went to, they just put like decking. It's basically a deck right over everything. Didn't even clean it up. There's a motor to a well over there. I'll show that to you in a minute. But that's what's going on. So I know you're jonesing to see how bad it is. And it is bad. So let's go. All right. This was the original edition. And as you see, when that house sank, well, this is probably termite and water damage. That's why that one broke. Gotta watch where I step. And this one, I think, just couldn't take the stress, and it broke. Now, this one had broken, and they sistered it. And over here... It's not easy walking <laughs> and I'm not going to walk across them. I don't have that much skill. I have an inner ear problem right now. Okay. Now this is the second edition. This is the addition to the addition. Let me get over here. Ooh. All right. I don't know how well the lighting is, but this is all I have back here. As you can see, the sill is broken. And there's a lot of rot. So all of this has to be replaced. See, there's all kinds of pots and I don't know what happened back here. That hole right there is for the HVAC. Okay, it's getting really dark out here. There's no electric electricity out here, so. Now, here's some more damage. And I had to stop here because I had to cook dinner. So this is all I have left. This is fine. I just got to look under here and make sure the joists are okay. If the joists are fine, then this is staying. And that joist right there cracked. I mean, it just split in half. I found one rat skull or mouse, little tiny mouse. And that's about it. I didn't, there were, when those lines were put in, there was Pepsi bottles everywhere. Okay, the yellow is my gas, 
and I had to reroute the water so I could get a water filtration system put in. But as you can see over here, ooh, something crunchy. As you can see right there, they did it correctly. They poured footers. And over here, it just it just sits on the, on the ground and it sank. So if you're going to do something, do it properly so all of this can be avoided. I mean, this is a daggum mess. So what about the lighting? Well, I can smell that chicken pot pie in the oven and I'm getting hungry. I've had a big day. I'm tired. I'm hungry. And I'm dirty, so I need to go take a shower. So just stay tuned and I will get you a video as soon as possible. So you guys take care and I'll see you in the next.